the whole effing show. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. From ECW standout to WWE legend, one of the most unique athletes sports entertainment has ever known. No one in this business gets as high as RVD with the five-star frog splash. Which reminds me, guys, it's 418. I'll be back in a few minutes. Whoa, whoa, where are you going? There will only be one. Rob Van Dam. Doomsday has arrived. It was only a matter of time. Tick tock. And gentlemen, I'm afraid time has just run out for the entire WWE locker room. And now you're looking at one of the most iconic superstars in the history of sports entertainment. Rob Van Dam, always a challenging opponent, Byron. Yeah, and what makes Van Dam such a challenge is his knack to risk it all. I expect we'll see him take his opponent to the absolute extreme here tonight. I can't agree with you more, Byron. Van Dam is not to be taken lightly in any situation. But tonight, he's taken on an incredibly driven carrying cross. The superstar who seems to be fueled by an endless supply of extreme rage and an insatiable appetite for destruction. This man is not your average competitor. Well spoken, Saxon. Cross is an absolute terror in the ring who doesn't put any limits on his attacks or his ambitions. He'll stop at nothing to get what he wants. And tonight, he wants to destroy. Cover! Fights the shoulder up at one. He's still got life in this matchup. RVD making sure everyone knows who the whole effing show is. He'll take things into the ring. Kick to the gut. The setup. Up and face first. Cover! He gets the kick out after the one. Refusing to give up even an inch of ground as this match continues. Big forearm. Here's the Gorilla Press, Insane. what power. Insane. Up and down, not done yet. Into a moonsault, what a combo. 
elbow. And the count stopped short of two. All the punishment he's taken, and yet he's still in this match? Oh, what a drop kick. Momentum is really on Van Damme's side. Cross looks a little off balance. He isn't being allowed to make it his kind of fight. Oh, he retaliates. Take that. Cross. Cross with the Doomsday Saito. Cross held nothing back on that, going all out. Needed the midsection into the pump handle. Here we go. X Factor. Victory nearly in hand for Cross. Two count. He kicked out at two. On absolute instinct alone, RVD managed to kick out. But does Van Dam even know where he is right now? That act of defiance is only going to provoke Kerry and Cross. From Van Dam. Great counter. Spin kick to the midsection. Kick. Oh. Guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. Oh no. Gotta make reservations at the local medical facility. Superplex! Set to the floor, here he comes! Tope Hilo! Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Reversal catches RVD. Hang it back with their own count. And he slides him back to the mat. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. What a cross body. Sleeper slam. it around, sole the foot meets the stomach. Blast off! Diving cannonball same time! The end is looming now. This is a very dangerous situation now. Rob Van Dam! Rob Splash! Carrion looks out of it. Two! And a kick out! No one saw that coming. Cross is not so easily dispatched. He wants more. He demands it. And Rob's not one to get too frustrated, but you have to think the sense of urgency is starting to kick in. He reverses it. This could be it. Cover for the win. Pin stop by rope break. Moved at the right time. And another counter. He's able to sidestep there. And that was a well-executed attack. Oof. RBD keeps him at bay. Saw that one coming. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Oh, looking for the, the pump handle. Oh, what a slam. Oh, what distance. He's going for the pin. Shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Reversal from RBD. Kick right to the face for the victory here. And the victory. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. He really got the better of the opposition here. I agree, it was quite the display tonight. No doubt about it, support for this guy grows by the second in the estimation of the WWE Universe.
Get ready for the boom. Talks as well with his fists as he does at the announce table. The following contest is an elimination match. Making his way to the ring from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, Wade Barrett. Confidence and eloquence, not just behind the desk, but in the ring. You're right about that, Saxton. A multiple-time Intercontinental Champion and a main eventer, Wade Barrett can be downright dominant in the ring. Well, Wade Barrett has got his game face on. Certainly not thinking like an announcer right now. I have a feeling Wade's looking to remind everyone just how hard he can hit. Here comes a man with a vision. And his opponents, first from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Cruz. A former United States champion, won the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania, but Cruz was still struggling to find himself. Yeah, but now that Cruz has found himself, all of WWE is on notice. Time for Cruz to execute on his vision. Well, I just hope he can do that without bleeding from his eyes. A truly glorious arrival. A multiple time champion around the world. There is no one else as glorious. I can think of some people. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, the glorious A man who is never lacking in confidence, nor should he. Yeah, it's easy to tell that Robert Roode competes at the absolute top level, both mentally and physically, each and every night. The thing about Roode, guys, he lives large in and out of the ring. Does Robert Roode ever stop bragging about how talented he is? Listen, when you have that much bravado, you gotta back it up. And Roode does just that. It is undeniable that Robert Roode is a polished competitor. More polished than the top of Saxton's skull. Elimination rules in effect. Gain a fall on your opposition to shrink the field down until you're the last standing. And it's a stacked field with Wade Barrett, Apollo Crews, and Robert Roode. This is where I would just hang back and let everyone else rip each other to shreds. Stay out of sight and out of mind, then come in and pick the meat off the bunk. Oh my God. Carefully measured knee drop. Great wherewithal on the counter. Neck breaker. There he goes, right into the corner. Hold on a second. He might be finding a submission hold here. Being contorted doesn't look good. What a unique submission. Oh, that's one way for him to get out of it. Shit breaker into a suplex. 
Great combo. There's a reason this is called a triple threat match. The threats are everywhere, Cole. Two opponents, zero rules. And on top of that, you don't have to be the one pinned to still lose the match. You have to be ready for anything. What's he looking for here? Oh! Apollo letting him know it's too easy. <laughs> That's going to sting. Hooked up. Driven down. And now thrown back into the ring. Knee right to the gut. Caught with the boot. And he's able to fight Rudolph. Ooh, neck breaker. And an inverted atomic drop. This match grinded him down a little. How did scout him? Dominating shoulder tackle. Oh, and Wade manages to counter. Setting foot in the ring now. Swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Placed into the corner. Close line in the corner. He deflects it right back. Oh, man. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. Attacking the arm. Great way to break down your opponent. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Able to elude it. Close. That could have been it. And he's able to fight Rudolph. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal form. He's struggling a bit here. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. Taken down with a chop block. Had it scouted. What are we about to see? Ooh, knee right to the hands. Who won the race? Charlie's horse. And now Barrett is off. Way Barrett looks set to end this wasteland. Barrett might take it here. There's two. Oh, shoulder up before three. Not about to go quietly into the night. That took some serious endurance. I'll give you that. The next big move might end this. The question is, who has the stamina left to pull it out? Backbreaker. His opponent's about to suffer some bad news. He climbs into the ring. Because here comes the ball hammer. And Apollo's laid out for the win. There's two. That's it. Apollo oh, just got brood. eliminated. Guys, not sure how much more Brood can take. We're finding out. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Brood can't be feeling glorious right now. Oh, he's in trouble, Byron. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Wade Barrett with the winds of change. Is it enough? The cover! Oh, roll the shoulder out at the last moment. I understand the sentiment, but now is not the time to bask in disbelief. He knew that was coming. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Oh, can Rude withstand much more of this? Wade's getting that unstoppable look in his eyes. We are beginning to reach a point of desperation in this match. These athletes' bodies can only take them so... Way Barrett looks set to end this, and Rude saw it coming. This arena has come unglued. You can feel the foundation shifting with every turn in the match. The apron lifting it up into the ring. Bam! Suplex. And his opponent's about to suffer some bad news. Barrett with the bull hammer. Did Wade just end this? Looking for the victory. And they're still in this. I don't know how he did it, but he's hanging in there. Just how much pain is he willing to endure in this match? That move has brought victory before, but not on this occasion. Might be time to think outside the box. Knee right to the gut. 
Measuring. Oh, face stop. This building is rocking right now. Can you blame him? Wade Barrett hoists him up. Wasteland! And that could keep Rude down. Two count. Yes, Barrett with the win. That had to be one of the matches of the year. Let's take another look at some of the action. Here is your winner, Wade Barrett! Tremendous victory in this triple threat match. A win like this sends a message. Send two superstars, send three, send four, heck, send a whole army. It's only going to be an uphill battle for the competition. I'm so excited because here comes the TCB tank. The phone is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Oakland, California. Shotzi! Well, Shotzi had a long and arduous road to get to WWE, but now she's enjoying herself. Well, any road's gonna be long if you're driving a tank that slowly. to get extreme. And from Sanford, North Carolina, Lita! Hey, here's a Hall of Famer with plenty of attitude. The controversial, the rebellious, the breathtaking Lita. All those attributes are what have made Lita a true legend. And with this match underway, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge that a certified Hall of Famer in Lita is ready for action. As skilled in the ring as they come, some have said Lita was actually ahead of her time. You won't hear me disagree with that, but we're in the here and now, and Lita's gonna have to put that veteran experience to good use here. No, oh, I'm sure she will, Corey. And she's up against the always unpredictable Shotzi, who is an absolute cannonball once she gets in the ring. Yeah, I don't know how anyone can keep up the type of energy that Shotzi brings once she's in the ring. She's full speed from bell to bell. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar! Oh, uh, Fujiwara armbar applied! The ballsy badass taking her eye off the... Well, the ball here. I'm not sure how smart that is. Oh, 
Ah, she fights Lita back. Trap the arm. Neck breaker. So smooth. Elbow drop. Piercing. There has to be a level of intimidation when facing off against an icon like Lita. Is it enough? The cover. Two. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Ooh. Lita's hopes are waning here. Yeah, it looks like the homework was done and Lita's opponent found her chance. Take off. Big mistake there, Corey. Because she knows that now. Shotzi with the retaliation. Double chicken wing. Tiger suplex. For the win. Two. Breaks the count. She just will not go away. Monster set up in the corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Oh, God. Saw that one coming. Ducks through. Up and over. Selena Del Sol. This started as an exchange of some choice words. And it quickly escalated to some choice blows, Saxton. Oh, ow. Cover. There's two. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. She saw that one coming. Oh, man. Turns that into a devastating shot to the knee. Shotzi kindly requests that you never wake up. Shotzi got it. Can she end it? Cover! Two! She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. The best shot was thrown, but it couldn't put this match away. Uh-oh. High angle, belly and back suplex. She's showing signs of slow. And the cover for the win. This is it. She breaks the ref's count. Not even letting the ref get to the two count. Bam. She scores big with the counter. Uh-oh. Wicked forearm. Did you hear that thud? Shotzi's so composed, so in control now. And I bet Shotzi is looking to look out. Slingshot cross body? That was ridiculous. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Legs caught. Oh, elbow to the knee. That'll hyperextend your leg. And she slides her back to the mat. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Shotzi with a senton bomb. Lita in big time jeopardy. Is it enough? The cover. And now about do it, folks. Uh, the, the, the champion wasn't oh, even involved in this. Oh. Like the title right across the face. That was completely uncalled for. Or was it? The following contest is a six-man tag team match. Introducing first, from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. 
the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura, making his way to the ring. And you can bet we're in store for something special here tonight. A very high-pressure situation ahead for this guy, but he is more than ready for it. Here comes Finn Balor. A man who has truly embraced his darkness and has seen success as a result. And representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. The Prince has arrived and is more lethal than ever. Hey, a sense of pure animosity to him. Well, it's just the fact that Finn Balor's finally been able to free himself of any limitations WWE or the WWE fans have placed upon him. Yeah, well, I guess freeing himself of said limitations also translates into turning his back on the entire WWE Universe. Boo-hoo, Byron. The results speak for themselves. Well, he attacks the body and the mind. The mark of a truly intelligent competitor. And oh, how he has developed a long, sadistic streak. I completely agree, Cole, and I completely enjoy it. Damian Priest has arrived. A man who will bring judgment to all of WWE. And representing the Judgment Day from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Priest has truly embraced his deepest, darkest side, and I couldn't be happier. We've seen Priest and the rest of Judgment Day destroy families, put competitors in the hospital. What, just to get ahead? For Priest, the ends justify the means. Multiple title reigns in his career already, but Priest wants even more. And there's nobody who can stand in his way. Rollins has arrived. The outfits, the outrageousness. There's nobody like Seth freaking Rollins. And from Devonport, Iowa, 
Weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Freakin' Rollins! A decade of being WWE's freaking workhorse, and the WWE Universe is finally singing his praises. And the WWE Universe serenading Rollins with his battle hymn. Time for Seth freaking Rollins to conduct another masterpiece. Give me a high five, Cole. Best friends. Forever. And at a combined weight of 478 pounds, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. The Sami and Kevin show is here. Yeah, I wish the Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens show would be canceled. Well, that's because you've never understood what best friendship's all about. You've never had a friend, let alone a best friend. Yeah, two of the most self-serving superstars I have ever seen. This is incredible. It's inspiring. I love everything about this. Yeah, I wish the Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens show would be canceled. Well, that's because you've never understood what best friendship's all about. You've never had a friend, let alone a best friend. Tag team action underway with Shinsuke Nakamura, Finn Balor, and Damian Priest. And the other team across the ring will be Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn. It is going to be all about teamwork and partnership here tonight. Who will be the better team? Who will have the better chemistry? I personally cannot wait to find out. The top rope, what a hot shot. He's getting a little batter now. Look out, cross body to the floor. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Knowing how big all six of these men's egos can be, they might struggle to stay on the same page in this matchup, which is why the success of either team is most likely gonna boil down to deferring to veteran experience. Prince telling his opponent, come get you. No, no, no. Barrel roll, Tope. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Oh. Running leg drop. Forearm club. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. There's the tag. I don't think this is going to be good, Corey. Big boot! Jeez. Go behind. Corbin, nine! He thinks he has it! And he stops the count for his partner. Staved off that attack. Foot to the midsection. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. This could do it! No, I thought he had it. You gotta be kidding me. Are you kidding me?
crashing down. Tagged into action. No! What a cross body! Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. Boom! Oh, what an uppercut. Oh. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. He's going for it all. Incoming! Oh, and a diving hack and run! Cover! Wow! He thought that was it, Cole. And Sammy is looking to the crowd for some support. I don't know anyone that's more deserving of some praise and appreciation. Tag made. Tag made. some of the highlights from that one. for celebration. What an impressive victory. The Scottish Warrior has arrived. A multi-time world champion and a Royal Rumble winner. And to this day, one of the toughest fighters in WWE. Making his way to the ring 
from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. The Scottish warrior outlasted 29 other superstars to win the 2020 Royal Rumble match and then carried that momentum all the way to WrestleMania, where he became WWE Champion. It is showtime for Shanti. The Adonis. And his opponent, representing Hit Row from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 209 pounds, Ashanti The Adonis. I'm not gonna lie, you gotta love his unique style. Well, he can't relate to you, Saxon. This dude knows what it's like on the streets. He's not a character. This is reality in and out of the ring. Tonight, this superstar knows his offensive arsenal will be tested. Byron, do you think he can trade bombs with McIntyre? Absolutely not. And if he tries, he's losing this match. Drew McIntyre set for competition. Talk about a superstar who never hesitates when it comes to bringing the fight to his opponents. Oh, yeah. Drew is always looking for a fight. And I would say he definitely found one this time around. Get ready to see the Scottish warrior on a war path in this one, guys. But well, we should really keep our eyes on Ashanti Adonis. He's certainly not lacking in confidence, but you can't let his personality distract from the fact that he's no slouch when it comes to his in-ring ability. Well, he's gonna have to... Sends the opponent to the outside. Here we go. Watch out! Ha-ha! Oh. <laughs> Tope con <heel. laughs> That was awesome. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. DDT! Ashante may have just learned firsthand what happens when you run your mouth too much here in WWE. Yeah, is Drew already bringing the fight there? Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. One response after another. Back and forth we go. And now gets tossed into the ring. Shot after shot this. Oh, look at I mean, beat the hell out of this guy. This is ridiculous. Could somebody stop this? Well, this uh, might have been the savior we were looking for. Here he comes. Where is he? That superstar is in the head of the other. Obviously, the mind games were highly effective in this case. Drew McIntyre is always willing to drag his opponents to hell and back for the victory, no matter who he's facing. That has to be a concern of his opponent. Cover! Two count? No! Two count! That is just pure instinct at this point. Getting him into the corner. Nice monkey flip. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Future shot, DDT. Drew proving that he never shot. McIntyre looking to close out this matchup. Play ball. Ashanti won't come back from that. For the win. Two. It's over. All in a nice work. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. 
Yeah, despite the earlier distraction, they were able to focus and keep their eyes on the prize. See, the distraction didn't even phase them in the long run. Corey, they won in spite of it. I don't know. I think it gave them the motivation they needed to win this one. For someone who loves the sound of his own voice, do you ever hear yourself? Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Gunter at a combined weight, of 440 pounds, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci, Imperium! Well, Imperium clearly are not here to have fun, but you have to respect their mission statement of the mat being sacred. Oh, I do, but I've seen your matches, Saxton, and you do not respect their mission statement. Right. Have you seen my matches? I definitely consider the mat sacred. Oh my gosh, he's undefeated. Precision offense, incredible in-ring skill. That's the calling card of Imperium. And it is one that has brought them great success. The original, the official, the only club that matters. More championships among the three than most of the locker room combined. by AJ Styles at a combined weight of 505 pounds. The World Tag Team Champions, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the OC. The most dominant club in the world, marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. The OC commands respect wherever they go, and their opponents had better be ready to show it. Certainly earn the respect, and they'll take it from anyone who won't give it willingly. And the sound of the bell begins this tag match with Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci. And in terms of opponents, they're up for quite the task tonight, as you can see. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. You know this is a tough match for superstars who don't play well with others. You really need to find a way to properly mix your skills with your partners. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. And he tosses him back in now. 
This is just brute power. Oh my goodness, absolute dominance. Looking wobbly in the corner. Knife edge chop. Tag made. Oh, classic tag team style here. Cover here. It only gets a one count. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Up high. And oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Ooh. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. He saw it coming. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Hoist it up. Suplex! Punch lands. Oh, Carl answers back. That move might have crossed the line. Oh, watch this power. Oh, my goodness! Into the power bomb. He breaks the ref's count before two. Still going to take a massive effort to keep him down. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. He got whipped into that corner. He's returning fire. Boom! Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. Back suplex on the apron. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Big time power. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. Kicks out. He still has life. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Ooh. Stomping. Ouch. Ooh. Oh, just scrubbing the face on the canvas. What an elbow drop for added measure. Going counter for counter. Now can it be capitalized on? You know? Uh oh. oh. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Went back into the ring. Right. Oh. Tossed into the corner. Knife edge chop. Tag is made. Partner headed up to the ropes. Hoisted into the power bomb. Uppercut City. Kaiser has all but ended this. Looking for the victory. Two. It's over. It is over. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. Here are your winners, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser Imperia. And teamwork makes the dream work in this tag team victory. No frills, no gimmicks, just old school tag team excellence to get the victory.
the following contest is an elimination match and is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Introducing the challenger representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dominic Mass. It's a big-time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael. And judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. This guy has had a great career already, but winning the title tonight takes his legacy to a whole new level. Make way for the Irish ace. This is going to be good. And introducing the challenger from Bray, Kelly Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. J.D. McDonough is an Irish nobleman who walks with an air of distinction. And tonight, he's looking to throw hands. Yeah, McDonough's been on a rocket launch-like trajectory ever since entering NXT. He has these chilling eyes, just a stare, he stares right through you, and he's able to dismantle all comers. McDonough possesses skills so far beyond, you have no choice but to become a believer. <laughs> Just a different feeling in the air when WWE's resident superhero makes his entrance. And introducing the challenger from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! You know, it's just shocking the things that Ricochet can do in the ring. Oh, I'll be the first to admit, Ricochet is a downright spectacular talent. Yeah, stuns his opponents with his speed and nimbleness. Highlight-worthy moments always follow his entrance. All hail the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Santos Escobar, a cruiserweight who creates controversy. And introducing the champion, representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds. He is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Santos Escobar. You know, he began his WWE career in a tournament to become Cruiserweight Champion. After he won it, he unmasked and formed Legado del Fantasma. Which was surprising because luchadors protect their mask with their life. Discarding it is disrespectful to lucha tradition. Listen, Escobar is the emperor of lucha libre. He's redefining lucha tradition. He decides what's disrespectful. This superstar possesses the smoothest Tope Suicida in the business. It hits you like an arrow straight from hell. And he also possesses a phantom driver that will absolutely flatten you. And you know, all powered with bad intentions.
Anytime this title is defended, it's a big fight feel. Only one superstar will leave with the title in the end of this, this elimination match. The last superstar standing will claim the title. It will be. Uh oh, this is this is risky. This is dangerous. Uh oh, this isn't gonna end well for someone. Oh, no. Time. This is it. Quick count out after one. Right now, I just don't know what it's gonna take. You know, I have to ask Corey, how much of an actual strategy is there in a no disqualification match? Honestly, it depends on this cover. Two count breaks the close count. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Taking it outside the ring now. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Elbow smash. And a well executed move we just saw there. Nice cross body. And now JD playing the intimidation game with his opponent. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. The challenger eating up some damage. Oh! Ready for takeoff! Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be great. Looking for the second, and now perhaps. Again, that's two. Perhaps a trifecta. The third of the three amigos. Cover. There's two. Almost inhuman at this point. Leaving himself open here. A uh, reversal catches Santos. A counter answered by another counter. Kept oh. right to the midsection. He went right into that turn. Side rush and leg sweep. Bad situation here. And it's about to get worse from the middle rope. Good buster. Shoulders down. Kick out of the title fight continues. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. He manages to escape it. Dominic gets the better there. Escobar grabs a hold. The challenger is not in a great place. Yeah, this fatal four-way has certainly taken its toll, Michael. That's it. Champion Max has been eliminated. Really just landed it. In. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. And he has free reign to the outside with no countouts to worry about. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Stop in the leg. Fancy there. Off to the outside. Oh man, he's ready to go. What's he gonna do here? They're gonna go in high risk. Here we go. Full head of speed. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Thrown back in under the ropes. Whoa! A slight shot cross body. Oh, suicide. Oh god. That it's a bad landing. I don't care. On the apron. Whoa, look out. How's that for a counter? Quick exchange of counters there. And he gets set back into the ring. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. He's turning the tables. Ah, uh, look at this. Look at the power of Ricochet. Oh this, is, this is unique. Face buster. There's a snap there. And a heinous attack to the knee. The target's been acquired once more. Uh-oh. Ricochet is a moving target. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. It's been a hard-hitting affair here tonight. These competitors are going to have trouble walking on their own after this one. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Nice calf kick, great elevation. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. 
Oh, attacked in the midsection. German suplex. Oh, Dominic gets cut off. Dominic with a reversal. Each competitor showing that he's about to do it. He's about to do it again. Samoan driver. That has got to be it. Looks like the champ is going to retain. It was almost just lights out on their championship dreams. Let's see if that kick out was a spark or is it the challenger's last gasp. That was plan A, and it didn't work. He must be thinking about plan B at this point. Everyone is on their feet in this building. Absolutely showing the respect for all the exertion these athletes are putting each other through. And there's the cover! Stopping the refs counted too. You are not alone in your shock, Cole. We all thought that was it. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. Firm control. Oh, foot meet face. Done. Up high. And he's back to the ring. For the win. There's two. Kick out. Kick out. He kicked out. The determination of the challenger keeps this match going. You can just see how much this title means. How much one is willing to go to to claim themselves as the new champion.
cheating a little bit easier. Ladies and gentlemen, the social media icon has arrived. And his partner from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 185 pounds, Logan Paul. Now there are quick learners, and then there's Logan Paul. You can count his matches on one hand, but he's already a main eventer and in the championship picture. Look at this. Take it off the arm. 
He's absorbing some tough hits now. And they, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. And some effective offense for that one. Two! And he fights it off. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. special. Just moments away from these two men locking horns. Well, maybe not. I believe he has an injured arm, or at least it appears that I hope way. his arm's okay. What, what a ruse. How low can someone go to get out of a match? Well, I'd say it doesn't get more cowardly than to fake an injury. This match just started, and let's see how they adjust to the last minute change. That was a prime example of why you have to keep your head on a swivel in WWE. See that one coming. Punch 
to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. Fatigue set in. Look at the bell. I on the counter. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. Is it enough here? Forces the shoulder up. That one came down to a razor thin margin. He's one step ahead there. Situation earlier is definitely what helped secure the win here. 